Hello, everyone, and welcome to Brenda's Knots and Loops. I'm Brenda, and this light is blinding me. <laughs> Did you just love it when you get new gadgets and you're like, what in the world? There, can you guys see okay? Oh, oh, we got different colors. I didn't know I had ooh, different colors. Isn't that cool? Anyway, I know. Quit playing. Welcome to my show. Welcome to the chat. Hi, everyone. How are you all doing today? Uh, I'm doing lovely. Um, thank you. Um, PJ says I look pretty in purple, um, which is funny. Purple is not my favorite color, but when a shirt is uh, $3 in my size, you buy it. <laughs> so anyway, I have, uh, as always, uh, uh, stuff to share with you before I forget. Um, I know, um, a couple of the ladies have real bad arthritis in their hands and in the jibber jabber, uh, class, the one lady, I don't know if um, she wants me to name her name, but that's okay. Um, she uses this uh, crochet hook and she said it has saved her life and Hirschners happen to have it in their catalog. Um, which I should, I probably should put the. Well, anyway, you can go online and look at it. Anyway, it's this hook. Can you see it? Okay. It has all the sizes for your uh, different size uh, crochet hooks. I put in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the chat board all the different sizes. It's a um, comfortable ha handle, fit standard hook sizes from B to K. And provide comfort and support while you work. Includes one handle and eight washers to in assortment sizes. Hooks sold separately, of course. You use your own hooks. And yes, PJ loves it. So I just wanted to share with you because uh, I know I know she said you can get it on Amazon, but I saw these uh, for seven ninety nine. I don't know if that's a deal or not with, with all the the different sizes. But anyway, I thought Hirschner's has it too. Um, I did get, um, put in the in the chat board. If you scroll up the very top, you can um, you I put the um, catalog number. So if you go to Hirschner's, you put in the catalog number, which is all capital letters C L six three three four two one, and that is in the chat line. Also, all the other uh, discounts that, um, that is going on right now. Um, Mary Maximum right now is having 40 to 70% off on their yarn, off of off their clearance. So um, the yarn they showed was a killer. So was, oh, I deleted it. Why did I delete that? Hold on. Um, so is Hershner's. Hershner's is making me broke this uh, this past week because of their sales they had. I can't find it. Sorry. I just can't find it. Sorry. Um, so, um, Lime Brand's having sales. If you just scroll up on the uh, chat board, I put all of them in capital letters. All the sales are going on uh, for you guys so you don't have to spend time you know, telling everyone. Um Um, if you would, please keep Lisa's grandson in your prayers. He's having surgery, has tonsils and adenoids out. And, um, and I know that's very hard for a little fella. So, uh, keep him in your prayers. And also Lisa that has to, that's taking care of his grandmother, uh, taking care of him. And let's see, did I miss anything else? Uh, again, hello everyone. Thank you so very much for subscribing to my channel and also liking this video. Um, I so appreciate that. That is just so awesome. Um, I have, let's see. Remember I showed you my, this, uh, it's a diaper bag. Yes, I still have the tag on it that I got on Amazon and has all kinds of Yes, I have a full now um, that I got diaper bag was cheaper than the bag that you buy for 
just for knitting and crocheting. Um, instead of paying uh, 20 and $30, I only paid, I think I paid 14 So anyway, I showed you, oh, I almost lost my needle. Don't lose the needle. Okay. I showed you this um, blanket that I'm working on. The Persian tile. Unfortunately, it's, it, it is on sale, but not sale sale. If you, if you want to get it, which it is easy to do. So far, three, uh, three triples together was probably the hardest I've done so far. Um, I've showed you uh, the, um, the instructions. Not only do they write them, they show you pictures. So, anyway. Um, this is what I have in my diaper bag. But I wanted to show you. I'll remove my stitch marker. I told you I would show you as I go. Let me show you the right side. This is how far I've gotten. I'm on row 8. There's 18. So I have 10 more rows to go. In, in this um, motif. In the square. And you work on 8 squares at a time. So that's why it, it takes some time. Because I, you do 8 at a time. But in that pretty. So, anyway, um, so, um, that is what I'm working on, and, um, one of many, um, I have three blankets going on right now. Why three blankets? I, you know, it takes forever for blankets, but anyway, oh, don't lose it. So, that is in my handy-dandy diaper bag that I showed you guys last week. Um, tomorrow we start Zoom on making this, oops, upside down, this, um, granny square. Um, yes, it's a kit. I get it again, so I can tell you. Yes, it's a kit. It's called Persian Tile Crochet Blanket from, uh, Janine Jean, uh, Crow. It's um, uh, Mary Maximum. Um, right now, she it's on sale, I think, $69. dollars. But I got it. I got it when it was, um, I only paid $30 for it when it was on sale. And then, um, I'm so sorry. The chat just like, um but anyway, um, so make sure if you want it, um, right now I think it's $69. Uh, make sure you use uh, find a $20 um, coupon. Um, I don't know if Honey has it, but you always can Google Mary Maximum Coupons to get a coupon code for 20% off. Um, it is, I'm serious, It so far it's been very easy. The only thing I've done is, like I said, single crochets. Double crochets, triples crochets, and that's it. That's it. That's it. And this looks this looks hard, but it's not. All it is is double crochets. And then the next row is double crochet, chain one, double crochet. On the little flower thing a little a little loop so very easy they even show you pay, uh like i've said before they show you uh you even got a chart for those of you that can read charts i know glare you can see you can read charts little squares the squares are very easy i might like, if i get bored of doing these i thought i'd um start on squares and it tells you how many how many to make because I didn't get the color the blue it comes in three different colors so I'll tell you that but it tells you in this sheet the color that I picked out what color and what row to use and at the very top it says make eight of this accommodation so that's what I'm doing I'm doing eight and I don't want to do eight do one all the way then do another one all the way I just do an all well, I got that color yarn out. I'm doing like all the centers and all the next row. 
anyway, that's no here or there. Tomorrow, 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 we're doing uh, granny squares. Granny squares. And then I'm going to, um, most of you know how to do granny squares. If not, I'm going to teach you how. Um, and then if you're doing, this is just one color. I use a variegated that uh, changed colors. You can change colors each row, every other row, every fourth row, whatever you want. Um, use one color, use ombre, whatever your heart desires. You can, um, you do. But if you happen to use one color, I'm going to show you how to um, not have to, but if you do buy the directions, you have to cut your yarn and start over. I'm going to show you how not to do that. Um, Michelle says she's making a granny square, square, a shrug right now. That's cool. That's cool. So anyway, and then I'm going to show you two different ways how to connect them all together, how to connect as you go. Both of them can be connect as you go. And then the other one I am going to go, it's connect as you go, but you also can connect, do all your squares at once, then connect if you want. Totally up to you. So anyway, um, I do have a lot of squares done because um, I wanted to get ahead of everyone because I'm having surgery next week on my foot. So I wanted to get ahead. So why everybody's making their 30 squares, um, I'm uh, hopefully ahead of the game. And then uh, today I'm supposed to get the rest of my yarn for, because I want, uh, I have another color square I'm doing. And then also I'm doing a, um, I'm using a different color to in between my squares. I don't have the same brand that I'm using. Um, you can use any size yarn you want. Um, any size, um, what I mean, weight, any weight. Uh, what you do is use the hook for that um for that yarn would be easier. Then you use, then you can do the, then you go, you know, your pattern, then you get check what uh, size of each square is, which each square is 10 and a half inches. So then you crochet, like uh, instead of using a four weight, if you use a five, six weight, all you have to do, or even if you use a three or, or even a two weight, um, or a two and a three together, um, you just measure that you have a 10 inch square, okay? Or 10 and a half, ballpark. It doesn't matter, ballpark. And then um, if it's bigger, don't worry about it. Your you'll, your um, quilt will just be uh, wider and you, then you can adjust the border on the sides if you want. don't want it so wide. And if it's smaller, you can just add more border on the side. It's that easy. It, it, there's always a way to fix something. You just got to get in the ballpark. Uh, crocheting is very um, forget, forgiving. So you just, um, I'm going to show you how to do all those, okay? Uh, tomorrow at Zoom. Uh, it's a free, Zoom is free. Um, you can uh, download Zoom on your computer, phone, whatever. I know I'm repeating everything I've said in the past. But for you newbies, I want to make sure you uh, join us. Um, I, and it's not just learning how to crochet a greedy square. I'm going to show you some other tricks and uh, tips on uh, what you can do um, to help you. Okay. Um, like using one yard. Sorry, my nose is itching. I was playing in the yarn this morning and the fibers get up your nose. You know how it is. I had um, three orders this morning, so I had to pack them and I was... So, I miss Wendy. I also have a gritty squares. Um, oh my gosh, I can't. I am doing a continuous granny square blanket. Oh, gorgeous. That is cool. I've made those. Um, my son is making a blanket six squares wide. By seven squares long. That is cool. Um, like I said, you just, um, this blanket happens to be one, two, three, five, five by five. One, two, three, four, five, no, six. Five squares by six squares. 
Um, it's totally. So anyway, we're doing that tomorrow at 10. 10. So I will be opening the Zoom uh, early so we can chit chat and you can figure out if you haven't been on Zoom, how to figure out how to, um, you know, you don't have to have uh, show your face if you don't have a camera. It's no big deal. Uh, I would ask that you do have um, your volume on, turn the mic on. Uh, when I ask to turn your mics on. So if you have any questions, you are able to ask me, you know, during um, during the class, during the class that we're having. OK. Oh, come on, Wendy. Spell check. I don't care if you spell right or wrong. I knew what she was talking about. Um. I have Happy Mail yesterday. Thank you. Oh, I got Happy. Oh, awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad you got it. Okay. Um, let's see. That goes there. Uh, for all of you that are uh, watching my um, subscribers, I just for uh, giggles um, thought I would um, put in early a uh, thousand subscribers. Whether I ever get there, I don't know. And if I do, that's awesome. If I don't, that's awesome too. Um, but I'm giving, having a fantastic giveaway. I was going to make a video, but I thought periodically I'm going to show you guys that are faithful to my show that come watch me either live or later on. And I'm going to show you what else I'm going to add to the giveaway that I already showed you. Um, you know this kit that I showed you? Um I'll show you the pattern. I'm going to put it in the giveaway. It is, sorry, I folded the, it is, do I have it upside? No, a Mary Maximum Heathered Waved Throw. It's 45 by 58 inches. And it says it's easy. And if you need help, I'll be glad to help, help you make it. Okay, that is what you're doing. That is the, the, instructions um but i'm serious if you win this and you need help i'll be glad to help help you it is made very soft very soft um northern heather 100 uh, percent the uh, acrylic dk weight and it's all in heathers okay that will be in in the giveaway Okay, um, let alone all the other stuff I've already showed you, but I'm going to add more. Hold on, you throw it over there in the pile because I haven't showed you the Noro. We'll do that later in a later date, and uh, because I already have it all gathered up, there will be six balls of Noro for you guys, and you're going to love it. So it is beautiful. Um, so share my share my share 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 if you would my channel and I want to give a um, a shout out. Yes. Oh wait a minute before I do the shout out. Hold on. Oh Lord above my phone. Have you ever had your phone when it does an update? And nothing is where it used to be. It updated on me this morning. Really. So, all right. I want to do a shout out. Oh, 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 oh. Her name, uh, she has a YouTube channel. It's Wild Row, Rose. R-O-W-S. Wild Rose. And she... Um, um, zombie kitty yardage, but this is her her um, YouTube channel, and it is uh, she did a one video of nothing but opening up um, um, uh, mystery bags that she bought from me. I want to thank her so very much. I will uh, put a link to her channel uh, below here in just a minute. 
Um, I am. Um, so that was just awesome of her. I just can't believe that she did such a thing. That's just so nice of her. So if you would uh, check her out, give her a, a holler. And um, matter of fact, I'll just put um, I will put it above the recipe. Okay. Uh, wild rose. There, there's a link to her channel. Chantel. All right. Um, recipe: sheet pan tacos. They are yummy. I know it sounds uh, complicated. You can make it easier if you want. If you don't want so many um, ingredients, I'm going to tell you real quick how to do it the easy way. Um, instead of brushing the pan with oil, I um, I spray mine with Pam, of course, and then um, lay down uh, tortillas, let them hang off the edge. Um, put in your uh, taco meat that you use, the hamburger and the taco, you know, dry taco seasoning and everything. Um, I, I personally put refried beans down first, then my taco meat, then cheese and whatever else garnishes you want, you know, and then fold, put tortillas on top, flour tortillas on top. You can do corn, but flour tortillas on top. Uh, the ones that are hanging over the edge, fold them back over. I spray the top with Pam and bake it until it's um, brown. Because all you got to do is really melt, melt cheese because uh, and heat up the beans because the hamburger is already cooked. And then you can garnish it with um, uh, pico de gallo, salsa, you know, sour cream, whatever. So. Uh, yes, it's kind of a taco uh, lasagna, but it's uh, not layered. Um, taco lasagna, you layer your ta your uh, tortillas in the in the mix. So I'm so sorry you have to leave early. Uh, t uh, Sherry says she's taking her mom to do her banking and then out to eat. Oh, sounds like fun. I am doing the same thing later on after the show. So you guys have an awesome day. Uh, the oven temperature is 350 for that. And uh, basically, that's the same recipe, but a shorter version of it. So have a, a good, good day, Sherry. Um, tell your mom I said hi. And uh, so um, I know I'm talking so fast. I have, I'm just feeling great today for a change. Well, legs hurt a little bit. Eh, but who cares? All right. Earlier in this show, uh, please make sure um, you uh, watch the beginning because I showed you, I talked about these hooks that Herschel has. If you have arthritic hands, they are awesome. Uh, I know PJ swears by them. Um, yes, yeah, so much to say in a little bit of time um, because I have to go early today too because I have my pre-op uh, today. Blood work and EKG, yay! And who knows what else they're going to do. So, I and uh, so it, who knows? Anyway, I'm still working on my zigzag. Um, haven't got very far on my zigzag blanket, as you can tell, not very far uh, because I've been working on my on my Persian. Um, squares and then also i'm do uh, it's in the other room i think it's ugly but mm, um i'm uh working on a kaleidoscope um blanket that uh, fiber spider has a, a video for i'm working on it also and it's just not turning out as pretty as i thought it would be wow coffee I have three, 13 more rows to be done with my zigzag. That is awesome. Awesome. What, what yarn is this, my zigzag? This is, all of it is Big Twist. I think it's re, uh, Reverb. Reverb. I use three colors. Um... 
teal blue pink which i don't know why it doesn't have any teal it's purple and pink and black um rusted red then i think this is called blue cool blue is what i'm using and this is uh, number four weight is what i'm using um, Joann's had it on sale during their Yarnorama for like three bucks. And then I thinking about using this in the border gray mix, um, mix with the, these, but also have this a little something different, um, change, but in the border. And then I'm going to make my border. I'm going to change it so uh, instead of zigzag, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to make it so it's square when it's done. Yes, I do too. I like how I uh, randomly, um, well, heaven's sakes. You can't really tell. You can, but you can't tell when I change colors, you know, but you can in a way, you know what I mean? It's these two, it's kind of, did I change colors? But I'm changing color every six, six rows. Well, way to go, Shelly. The one that said she couldn't do it. Yes, PJ, good idea. Joanne's has it for $7.49. Use a 40% off coupon. Makes it $4.49. But, um. But, um, and then the other blanket, this is, this is the softest stuff. Heart, Heartland, I can never remember what it is. Melange, rule with it, melange. Uh, a lady told me, um, I got it at Hirschner's on sale for $7. A lady told me you can get it at um, Hobby Lobby. And when Hobby Lobby has it on sale, and then um, um, you can get it for like $4. So I'm like, bummer. I didn't know Hobby Lobby had it. So I am so proud of Shelly for getting having 10 roses done of her. Um chevron zigzag blanket that is awesome way to go keep it going magic mountain said uh, shelly at least you're working on it to it took me a month on a pattern and decide i hated it took three days to decide on another stitch now uh, i'm on your tube price fling pri price fling i can't say that word it's not coming out price crafting anyway some words when my fibromyalgia is flaring i don't know if you guys know about fibromyalgia it's it affects everyone differently me it affects my speech very badly my brain knows what I want to say, but it will not come out here. <laughs> I'm saying it here. It does not come out here. So, anyway. Procraft in ending. In enabling. In 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 nope, not enabling. Anyway. When you are avoiding your work, <laughs> I understand now. I understand. I'm, I know. I'm just being silly. Procrastinating, I know. I was just being silly. You guys crack me up. Um, yeah, I was just being silly. Anyway, um, something, anything else I wanted to share? Um, see, I'm all working on three blankets. I want to start a sweater really bad, but I'm working on three blankets. 
But I really want to work on a sweater. It's calling my name. You want to see the sweater I want to make? I was going to make this one in pink. But. Oh, I forgot. You can now buy me a coffee if you want. The link's down below. You don't have to. Um, don't have to. It, but what it, the money will go towards is um, buying yarn for you guys to for giveaways. I am finishing some of my whips. Husband said no more yarn until I get some projects done. Well, that's just not nice. That's just a bummer. That's just the saddest thing I've ever heard. Do the sweater after my surgery. Well, I thought I'm going to work on my blankets, but I'm making this sweater. Can you see it okay? It's kind of, when it printed out, it's kind of, it's bulky. I'm going to do it an anniversary um, cake. You, it's one, it's one of these two cakes. One of those two cakes. I'm going to make it out of. So anyway, um, oh my gosh. Do you know how hard it is to jibber jabber and read um, the chit chat at the same time? It's very hard. Which part of this pattern? The sweater pattern, you mean, Michelle? Um, depends on what size you are. It goes up from small to 3X. Gauge. <laughs> she used Sidar, S-I-R-D-A-R, Adventure in Polo. Crazy sexy wool by wool in the gang is a great substitute. This type of super chunky yarn will require a 12 millimeter crochet hook. Skeins of King Cole Timeless Super Chunky Yarn and Shade Rose Petals or any other super chunky yarn requires a tin. Oh, that's for the... Um, for the name of the sweater is <laughs> Crochet the Rose Petal Jumper. Let me put, and I'll put, I will put it, let me type it real quick. I'll put it right underneath the rose, the, her link. Um, I'll just put sweater. Oh, I say my description is too long. Well, we'll just delete something. You guys don't need my address, do you? Yeah. All right. It is www.selinaverO. N-I-Q-U-E dot com backslash crochet little line the rose P-E-P-A-L jumper J-U-M-P-E-R how well they description box says my description's too long. So we'll hmm.
All right. There it goes. There. I put the link for the sweater. I'm sorry I had to delete. It took so long. I had to delete a lot of my description stuff because of they only allow so much and the recipe is too long. So instead of uh, changing the recipe, you guys, I'd be here forever. So anyway. Um, and I did check. The link does work. So that is for this sweater. Calls for a super chunky. Yes, yeah, super chunky yarn. It gives you uh, measurements of what uh, each uh, size is. The abbreviation uh, of um, what the which it's only uh, double crochet, single crochet, back stitch, front stitch. You guys know those. And then um, when I printed it out, it says pattern starts here, and I put an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway um, no problem Kim no problem no problem no problem um, I've never made this one before I've made other um, ones like it I want to make this one too isn't that the cutest little sweater I'm going to make that before this spring this one is a free on um, on Michaels. It, and remember, I told you it tells you what what yarn it is they used. These are free at Michaels, especially if you go to the um, Caron um, yarn on the very bottom of the page. It'll say patterns for for Caron, and it will tell you. And then I was going to show you the other, that other, well, wish this. You think I want to make this sweater? I have it printed out twice. I really do. I really love this sweater. I bought it on uh, Etsy. The Cactus and Lace Design. But I just haven't found the right yarn yet to make it. So that is in my future. So um, so anyway, but this is the one I want to make now. So anyway, where is the bulky? Oh, I put the uh, um, this one. I put it this one. I put in the uh, in the description box. This is not my original bulky one that I was going to do that I've done in the past. I don't. I can't find it right now. It must be in one of those ones that I I filed. Um, I think, um, Kim, I'm thinking to frog my fuzzy yarn zigzag and use a, the yarn for a sweater. Oh, that'd be pretty sweater. But it is a, a beautiful uh, blanket. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. It's just a pre-op, so it's, it's going to be fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. Um, I'm not really worried about the surgery. Um, next week, we'll, um, yeah, Thursday. Um, I should probably be more concerned about it since I can't put any weight on my foot for uh, three months. Um, right now, the I'll, I'll just talk about it. I don't usually talk about stuff. I, I try not to talk about per, too personal stuff. But anyway, uh, my mom tells me the walker they give me, you know, has wheels in front. I never used the walker before. So my mom's like, you really need, look at this hair. I combed it before. Anyway, I know I procrastinate. Change the subject. My husband hates it when I do that. Anyway, 
I got the walker out yesterday and was using it. It does not fit. There's a... How you go into the kitchen is... Um, there's a countertop and the, the stairs come down like that. So there's just a little space you go into the kitchen. It doesn't fit in that hole. It doesn't fit in the doorway to the bathroom. It doesn't fit in this room. Um, there, yes, I do know um, magic. Um, magic acts if I, they're going to do a general or... Um, um, anesthesia. Uh, they're going to put me under and do it. They're not going to do a block, but they're going to put me under because it's quite an extensive surgery, especially the bone graft, let alone attaching, uh, reattaching the uh, ligaments and tendons to the bone graft. Um, it's going to be quite, quite an extensive in uh, surgery, more extensive than my knee replacement surgery. Uh, this one is going to be something else. So thank you for your prayers. I appreciate it. Um, but um, so anyway, so I don't know what I'm going to do. So this um, walker is kind of useless, basically. So um, so it's quite funny. So I'm like, okay. So now uh, the trolley, I got, I showed you guys that I had to buy, uh, you know, those things that, um, it's called a knee ruler. I had to buy one of them. Yeah, that's what I thought. But it's cheaper than running it. So, um, had to buy a knee ruler. And I had to buy a heavy duty one because I'm a big woman. And um, we decided this one basically because my husband said he could take the bars off and use it in the... Uh, in the garage to um when he works on the cars or whatever <laughs> i think that's funny but hopefully it will fit it where i need to go so if it doesn't then um i'm going to lose a lot of weight because i won't be able to fit in the kitchen and um and i don't know what i'm going to do about i figure i get back up into the bathroom and hop so uh yes i'm going to have lots of projects Yes, lots of projects. Um, I do thank the dear Lord. I do have, um, I, uh, lazy, well, it's not a recliner. And my husband's going to put it up on a platform so it's not, so, I'm not so low. So it'll be easier for me to get out of. Well, I'll be getting the extra bone after it's out. <laughs> Can you make a hook out of it? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. You know, they said I had a missing bone. And this doctor said I don't have a missing bone. Um, need to uh, work on a caddy real quick so you can take your stuff with you. Um, I know, because a lot of them had baskets on the, uh, on the uh, cart. And this one doesn't have a basket. So I'm like, bummer. It came in a bunch of colors. But yeah, we bought one that didn't have a basket. It's like, really? But, so I don't know what I'm going to do, how how I'm going to. Anyway, um, my husband said he can uh, Velcro, uh, Velcro, um, nylon tie a basket to the top, to the handles to hang down for me. So I can carry um, my sandwich or whatever. I'll be eating a lot of sandwiches. I do believe in Cheez-Its. Uh, Kim says the knee carts are a blessing. You should be able to zip around easily. Oh, I hope so. Use a... Oh, I never thought about... I do have little... I have these little storage square things. Maybe we can uh, put that on there. Oh, little bike basket. That's a good idea for Walmart. A little bike basket. I'll get a little kid one. Get me a horn. Oh, I need a horn. Me me. Little kids horn on their little that they have on their little cars on their little bikes. Oh, I I got to do that. I got to get a little horn. Put that on my list. 
Um, yeah, I think I need a horn on my, uh, or, oh, a bell. Oh, that might be fun. What do you guys think? A bell or a horn? One of those little plastic horns. <laughs> or, a be or a little tingy, 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 tingy. Hmm. One of both, one of each, huh? I will. I will. I will check that out. Because if they're not very much, what and why not? Because I got to find something to put my. Because if I go to the kitchen and get make, because my husband, no one's going to be here. My mom can't do steps. So I'm going to be down here by with just the dog. And I got to get into the kitchen somehow. Oh, cowbell. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I wonder if I have my, oh, I have a cowbell from when I was in high school. Oh, uh, here comes Brenda and Nazi Lou. Oh, that's so cute. PJ found a, 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 um, an icon with a, a little scooter. That's cool. You're off to Amazon for Brenda. <laughs> You're going to buy me a bell. I just know it, Lisa. Lisa's ornery. So she's going to buy me a um, great big bell. A clown one, probably. But anyway, so, um, but anyway, that's, uh, that's what's going on with me. Um, and I got to take my mom because unfortunately when I am, uh, laid up, my, so is my mom, uh, even though she, you know, my sister's in Florida, her and her husband. So when it, I'm the only one around take my, to take my mom anywhere. So I'm going to be laid up. So is my so is my mom, unfortunately. So she, um, the only difference is I won't be able to walk on that foot, and, but she can. So, but she can't do stairs very well. And I, don't, God forbid, I don't want her to fall down those steps. So, um, I, uh, so we have to go to the bank and do some things for her today to get her uh, situated and uh, ready. Or when I'm uh, down. Um, so we're going to also, I'm going to bring the golf cart down around so I can um, left foot, foot uh, drive the golf cart. And eventually um, it's hard because I have a very small, I have a Kia Soul. It's very small and uh, I have to sit sideways. And so I don't know how, if I can drive with my, get in and drive, I can't get in and drive my foot with my foot. There's just no way. So, and they're doing my right foot first, which is the gas foot. If it was the left foot, uh, we'd still be uh, cruising, me and my mom. I just bring the car down and around on my driveway and uh, instead of in the garage up above. And uh, we'd still go and do, but unfortunately, we're doing the worst foot first. And so, but we'll figure it out. It will be all right. So. So, and thank you all for your prayers. I appreciate it. I feel them and I just think it's awesome. So anyway, enough about that. That's boring stuff. Boring. All right. Because I've bored you all to death. You know, you like, Kim says McDonald's will have to be delivered. You laugh, but um, McDonald's is 14 miles away at least. It, that's the closest one's 14 miles. So it's not like I have a McDonald's real close and none of the restaurants in town deliver. We don't have any restaurants, really. We have uh, other pizza places. They do deliver. There's only one open during the day. DoorDash. I don't know if DoorDash delivers in my little hick town. I've got to see. Um, or... Uh, Uber Eats. I don't know if any of those deliver in, in town. So I'll have to check and see because I just thought for orneriness, I would uh, do that for my mom. Yeah. Order McDonald's. It might be cold by the time it gets here, but Lisa, at least that'd be something fun. Um, can, uh, magic, not magic says when I hurt my leg, my, I hurt my 
dominated leg and was hard to learn to step the other leg first. I have a crown crown show a clown show going on the steps. I understand. Um, I don't know because um, I have to get I no weight whatsoever. So I have to get up on one foot. Um, so I don't, I don't know if, uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, and the lady, um, uh, at the doctor's office said with the walker, I could hop. Okay. Wouldn't that hurt the foot that's, uh, bandaged up and had surgery? So anyway, we'll figure it out. It'll be all right. So anyway, since I talked so much about my surgery that I hate talking about, um, Uber Eats. If you don't have Diner Dash, we have both. Well, none of my hick town. I live in a very small, I don't even live in a town. It's called a village. We don't even raid a town. So I don't know if they would come this far. So, yes, it will be a challenge at first, you know, but it always is no matter what you do well, after surgery. All surgeries afterwards is a challenge for anybody. So, um, let's see. I got stuff falling on the floor. Um, oh, this looks interesting. Let's give this away. What do you think? Because I've bored you enough with my... It's a, you even get the bag. This cute bag I got. So let's see what's inside. Um... I think this was going to be a jacket. I don't know. And this was a hat. I did on my knitting thing. But if you see, one of the, a couple of the stitches dropped. So, got that. More yarn. Sorry. All right. Well, maybe I'll show it to you. This is pretty. Ooh, this is pretty. Isn't that pretty? Don't know what it was going to be, but isn't that pretty? If you continue, that'd be a pretty table runner. This is the yarn. Did I get too close to you? Sparkly. Um, you even get this cute little marker. It's a coffee cup. Marker. Sorry, I don't know. Oh, maybe. Hold on. Wait a minute. There's two patterns in here. I got it marked. <laughs> oh, this is going to be with a shawl. Here's the shawl. See the shawl? Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's going to be pretty in that purple pink in it. Oh, I said I'm going to get away. I'm giving it away. That pattern, I just threw it in there. It didn't go with anything. Anyway, you get this yarn. You get this. Which is gray and red. Tear it out. And then... I can't roll. And I just happen to have... A, well, no wonder. Hold on. Hold on. I'm hung up. I happen to have a, a yarn. 
matches this. That yarn is this Worsted Antiquity yarn. This one's never been used. It is a medium number 400% acrylic from Hershner's Machine Wash and Dry. Color is Riverside. Four hundred and eighty-nine yards. So you have that times two because the other one, I'm sure the is all in there. So that's what you get. So we're gonna weigh this puppy. No, I know. For uh, so you guys that are um, listening and don't do the chat or can't do the chat or your phone doesn't do the chat, I know I'm going to. The fifth person that emails me at Brenda's Knots and Loops at gmail.com will win this all of this. The fifth person. Fifth. And I promise I won't cheat. It will be the fifth person um, that emails me at Brenda's Knots and Loops. You'll get the pattern, the pretty purple, also the extra uh, yarn for that, the hat, this cute bag, which is cotton washable get all that fifth person okay we'll win that and that i don't know what that is um not all the pattern was there so anyway fifth fifth person emails me will win that okay well anyway that's all for me today i thank you very much everyone for sticking with me and even listening to me and talk about my leg and my uh buggy and in my walker um i appreciate that you listening about that and i think i appreciate all your prayers and concern um that means the world to me so you all have a, a very blessed day and i'll see you tomorrow at the zoom class where we're going to make the the granny square blanket okay so you all have a great day if you don't come i will see you um the following day on my live is in my live uh youtube okay at 10 o'clock okay i'll see you all later bye bye now love you all have a great day